Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with a new incarnation of an old friend, the Holger 556. The thing is a beast in a high recoil configuration. But really, is it high recoil? Let's have a look. First, we're not going to use any of the conversion kits in this build. I don't think they're needed. Some of them are pretty good, but we're not going to use them. The intruder rear grip. And you can see that the ADS movement speed is improved, as is the ADS speed. Now, 229 milliseconds isn't anything to put on your Instagram, but it's still okay. But the ADS movement speed at 3.8 meters per second for an assault rifle, decent. These are composite numbers, by the way, so let's take a look at the rest of them. The headshot damage is an amazing 54, meaning that three shots in the head is all it takes to gack an enemy. Is it possible? Yeah, I think it is. But if you miss the head and hit the upper torso, it's still a high damage number, 42. That's a four shot kill at 588, roughly 600 rounds per minute, which means 10 rounds per second, which means four shot kill. Really the first one's a hit scan. So it's less than a third of a second. So it's a consistent about 300 millisecond kill somewhere less than that probably. Effective damage range though, it reaches all the way out to 32.4 meters. The recoil, well, it shows 33.56 on the gun kick, 64. 0.26 degrees per second on the vertical recoil, but we'll have a look at that in a second. The Cross X short barrel improves the sprint to fire. It's 159 milliseconds, not pistol range, but it's decent for an assault rifle for a heavier hitting weapon like the Holger 556. Improves ADS movement speed, crouch movement speed, which Grandpa doesn't like to count the hairs on his big toes. Movement speeds at 5.3 meters per second. You can get around the map. The range Range goes down a little bit, but it's still outstanding for free for all and for the small map mosh pit and for most of the maps, frankly. The paracord grip. Love this attachment. I know some people are saying, oh, it ruins some setups. I'd like to know how all green, but not only all green, significant amounts of green and recoil. Sprint to fire speed 17%, ADS movement speed 6%. I want to know how that's going to ruin any configuration. Whoever said that might have gotten it confused with a quarter master suppressor because that does show some red. Now, Grandpa likes playing free-for-all in the small map mosh pit, so I'm going to carry a 40-round mag. No dainty mag for me. You can see that it impacts the reload mostly. Everything else, very low numbers. That red is there only to scare you away. It's there to fool the non-subs of Grandpa Newbie because we all know that 4%, if nothing. If it's below 10%, probably nothing. So definitely recommend the 40-round mag. Finally, the Peace de la Rose. Peace dealer resistance? No stock. Look what it does to the recoil. But I think that is just once again to scare away the people who don't subscribe to Grandpa Newbie. Accuracy is improved. It's not really a hip fire machine, but you can do it with this weapon. But look at the sprint to fire, almost 20% down. ADS speed, 12%. Rouch movement speed, 13%. And ADS movement speed, it's what really gets you to that 3.8 meters per second. It is an awesome awesome attachment. And speaking of recoil, let's have a look at it in the shooting range. First hip firing, no control. Steady climb up and to the right on 40 rounds. Now we'll ADS, no control. Looks like it goes straight up. Let's see where it ends up. Yeah, it ends up right over the dummy. And I'm not talking about grandpa, so that's pretty strange. No control, ADS, straight up, hip fire up and to the right. And is it controllable? Yes, it's controllable. It does kick up. But remember, this is the shooting range. And since it's not the field of honor, let's go out to the field of honor with the Holger 556 high recoil mode. See what this weapon did for Grandpa and see what it did to Grandpa's willing and compliant enemies. Let's go. Let's get moving. And I mean literally moving in free for all. All right. Grandpa's already behind, zero to one. Little drop shot action there, oldest trick in the book. So this build of the Holger looks more like an SMG or maybe even a, a large pistol with no stock. Oh, a Muppet. So it's very high recoil. And of course, 
beak to beak, you're not going to see it. But you might see it there. Nope. Grandpa just moving forward. Nope, there goes somebody. There goes somebody down the aisle when the seatbelt light is illuminated. And that's what happens when you do that. Fasten your seatbelts. Don't walk down the aisle. Somebody will gack you. Night cream face. Noxzema face. Got him. Where is everybody? Grandpa needs to do some gacking. Uh, uh, ten rounds a second. I mean, it's not blinding speed. You can see there was really no recoil there. We were able to keep the pipper on Noxzema face. And there you can see the ADS movement speed, which is spectacular for an assault rifle. It's in the upper echelons as far as ADS movement speed. Go, my child, and do work. Bite somebody. Aiming low there because people are low. Oh, missed a shot. A male ballerina in his leotard. Nothing against that. You want to be a ballerina. It's very, very agile weapon. And it packs a punch. Ten rounds per second, I realize, is not a lot. See, that guy couldn't jump away. A wrestling pro. These people are muppeting. That guy was muppeting the whole game. I don't know why somebody would go for free fall just to camp somewhere. I think you go to expand your skills maybe against one-on-one. -on -one. Against people like Noxima Face. Whoa. Felt pretty powerful with this weapon. This leotard. You can see that there's no recoil, no gun kick. It's not controllable. Uh-oh, not a good move. Or Grandpa thought he was going to get a double. He got a single. Got to try to hit it high because torso, 42, above 50. There's the Muppet. There he is, trying to avoid Grandpa, but it's not going to go. Oh, my face. Thank you. He probably couldn't see me through all that cream. There he is again. Hitting his Muppet position. There's Jolly Green Giant. Reminds me to eat your peas. What is going on? Grandpa's wondering where the Muppet is. Oh, and in that case, he stepped on a prox mine. Oh, there's a fighter pilot. He is moving fast. He's not even in a jet, and he's moving that fast. You can see, straight as an arrow. Powerful weapon. Did, was that was that guy uh, the Burger King? I hope not, because I like the hamburgers. And I don't want to get banned from that restaurant. Not seeing the face. Not not muppeting. Oh, I think that was a fighter pilot. There's Jolly Green. Need some more peas. Maybe some French cut green beans. Uh, crossfire's bad. My brother, fighter pilot. Oh, not seeing the face. Enemy UAV active. <laughs> Grandma gets deleted. Look at there. Did you see that? And in fact, at the end, the weapon 
went down after the guy was gacked because Grandpa was holding just a little downward downward stick there to control the anticipated recoil. What that ends up doing is actually getting him in the lower torso. You don't need to hold the downward stick. I think that might have been the mosquito went out and bit somebody. Grandpa's listening for his insults there. All right, we'll try it again. That was a medium, medium-sized map. Peace. Another medium-sized map, so... Recoil control is important, but I just don't see it there. As is strafing. The side-to-side -side makes you a lot harder to hit, and at 3.8 meters per second, there's a lot of side-to-side -to, -side to be had here. I wonder if that's the same Noxima face. There's a test. Recoil. Got him. This guy barely had time to check his messages on his phone and they had a bullet coming his way. Always somebody over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking the holder here. You can see halfway across the map it's doing just fine. Especially you get them up in the head. That was three, I think three headshots, one kill. You could actually shoot through that thing. Poor old Noxima face was waiting for me to come in the side I shot him at. Only a dodo would do that. A little tighter game here. That skin is called. But at least nobody has those bright skins running around. Jump shot action. Some drop shot action and then Grandpa sees people coming. That helps out to get a little bit of a lead. Uh, Grandpa is muppeting a little bit there. But then he sees those guys. I mean, it, what are you going to do? Run face first into them? As soon as the coast is clear, Grandpa moves. Somebody shooting him from the behind. Well, the guy I was waiting on was gacked in front of me, and the guy that gacked him ran in front of me. Oh, now on this map, a lot of people put it up top. I do that if I can. But right out in the middle of somewhere, and I'm, I'm going to get some kills because people trying to annoy it are going to be heavily exposed. Ah, it was a dogfight there. Grandpa just needs a few more, and the test will be over. I like this configuration. Permanent class? I don't know. There are other weapons that are pretty good for a permanent class. I think he stuck us. So, I do have it in the armory, though. And there it is. Another win for the Holger piece. So, let me know what you think about the Holger and the high recoil. And if you're seeing the high recoil in the comment section, who uses the Holger out there? It was one of the more powerful guns in the game when it started. Anyway, like and subscribe is always appreciated. Cheers and peace to you.